Hey guys, it's Dennis with Grass Monkey Lock here. Um, I'm going to create a series of videos uh, more aimed towards the guy who's watching this stuff to <clears throat> who's got an idea of starting a lock care business and just wants some info as far as having an idea and kind of carrying out the process of how to take that idea and kind of go through each step of getting you up and running for next season. Um, so this is going to be the first part <clears throat> of a series of videos coming out. Um, so I'd like to talk about the uh, first part of this. So you have an idea. Your idea is now that you are thinking about starting a lock care business and you want to execute that idea. You want to make it happen for next season. So the idea is there. Now we have to execute a plan to make your idea move forward. So I think the uh, first part of doing this is you know, you got to take your idea and then put it on paper and kind of work yourself out the first part of your planning of it, which would be what kind of long-term business do you want to have? Are you a guy that's going to maybe be, you know, working a full-time job and just kind of wanting to start something on the side, maybe picking up, you know, a few yards after work here and there, or are you a guy who's currently in a job that just doesn't want to work that job anymore and wants to become a full-time guy in lawn care? Because uh, those could be two different ways of planning a business. Um, but as far as the guys who are looking to get out of their other job and go like this full time, let's talk about the planning part of this. So we need a plan, you know, to get us going. So first part of that plan would be, okay, so I'm going to go full time now for this next year. That is my goal. So we have that established. You're planning to go full time. That's going to be goal number one. Um, so how are we going to go about that, you know, doing these things, you know? So what I did was I educated myself. And when I say educated myself, I mean, I didn't know everything about the business. So a great resource would be watching YouTube videos, channels like mine. And there are many, many others out there that have super great content. As far as you can see different channels discuss, you know, techniques of work, um, different channels discuss, you know, the business side of it. There's other channels that'll give you more of a, uh, philosophical approach to it as far as your mind frame, uh, how it needs to be, you know, what they, uh, what they think about it. So there's many avenues on YouTube as far as getting each little chunk of uh, information. I spent many, many hours watching different channels as far as uh, techniques of mowing, weed eating, edging, how they mowed, you know, what equipment are they using? Um, you know, how are they getting clients? Um, so I think that's the first part of your planning is educate yourself on this business, I mean, getting into it, you, you know, you know how to mow a lawn and stuff, but there's much more to it. So, you know, as far as your planning goes, you need to make sure that you're understanding everything that's going to come along with it. You know, the struggles that you're going to hit, you know, the ups, the downs, you know, how to get customers. So, I mean, that's your first step of planning, I think, is, you know, get yourself acclimated with how the business actually functions. Um, step two of your planning is you need to start thinking about... <clears throat> you know, where you live at, you know, all these channels that are out there, including mine, like I live in the Midwest. So we experience every season, we have a full winter, a full fall and a full spring, which means things shut down for a certain amount of time, usually November to about February, maybe early March. But where you may live at may be way different. You could be down in the uh, Florida area where it's all year. You could be up in the uh, Northeast where they have a long winter. Um, so, I mean, that plays a big part of it, but you've got to start getting yourself ahead of that. You know, what equipment do I need? Um, you know, what kind of uh, edgers, weed eaters and stuff? You need to start looking at reviews of, you know, equipment. Um, getting all that stuff together. Um, you know, writing everything down. Have everything on paper. That way you can always go back to it. You know, you have it a little nice written out. Um, you can add to it, make notes if you're watching a video and you see something you like, make a note of that. That way you can go back and maybe research it some more. Um, go out and look at some equipment too. You know, go to these, some of these dealers, you know, look at some stuff. You know, look around at your, uh, your area while you're out driving, you know, what companies are running, what equipment, you know, that's the early phases of planning this business, you know, get as much knowledge as you can, uh, knowledge is power, no matter if it's lawn care or whatever business you're in, the more knowledge you have, the better off you are, you know, and I think the other part of planning would be, you know, what kind of lawn care business are you going to have? What's your specialty going to be in the business? You know, what do you want to go after? Are you just going to want to do lawns? Do you want to do lawns and landscaping? Do you want to do lawns, landscaping, and trees? 
you know, you got to kind of figure that out. That way you can kind of base yourself and set up your business accordingly to, you know, the structure of what you're wanting to get done. Um, but don't limit yourself just to being a long guy. You know, just because you might not know everything doesn't mean you cannot learn it. So um, I, feel, I believe that's kind of the first part of your planning process is, you know, figuring out, you know, from your idea how you want to go about it. You're going to be a full-time, part-time. You know, educate yourself. Um, get yourself uh, on YouTube, you know, start looking at some stuff. And if you're not sure about, you know, some stuff on landscaping, you can watch a thousand videos on how to put a retaining wall up. You can watch a thousand videos on how to trim shrubs. Um, that's why I say educating yourself is everything. Don't be afraid to get on here and spend some time putting in the work early, you know, to kind of get yourself feeling comfortable with what you think you can do. That's going to greatly help you and be more confident in planning your business. You don't want to be the guy who doesn't want to, you know, add something to this business because you're worried that you don't really know it. The only way you can know things is get out there and do it. You want to make a mistake? Yes. Will you learn from it? Sure. That's life. That's the way things go and, you know, in any business and especially lawn care, there's going to be things that you do right and you do wrong. Um, so, you know, those are my ideas for the first part of this series of videos as far as taking an idea and planning it. Um, I'm going to put up, you know, a step-by-step -step as far as the, after the planning part, what you should be doing after that, and et cetera, et cetera. Um, feel free to always check out more of my videos. You know, I'm a first-year guy. I was in the same boat, you know, that I'm talking about now, last year at this point. And this is going to be the end of my first season coming up. So uh, feel free to check my other videos out. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, feel free to do that and uh, like any videos. And once again, I appreciate it, guys, and thanks a lot.